Hey guys, welcome back. In this session, we will going to learn to delete a single object from the core database and we will also see to clean core database. So we will going to continue with our old project that we created in last video that is core data demo and to use the object oriented approach we created one core data handler which contains three functions one is the private function and the sec the second function is to save an object which takes first and last name as an uh, par uh, as a parameter and uh, similar way uh, we created one fetch object which fe which fetches the uh, data from the core database and it it return the object here array and object here now we will going to create one function to delete an object here so and here we will be passing object okay user object which we want to delete and then we will going to return whether the object is deleted or not so here we will going to return a bool value here so now we'll going to take a context here from the above method okay and then we will be going to call its delete function and here we're going to pass that object so it's simple so the user is deleted but the context is not saved it yet so we're going to save it and to save the context we need to call we need to write or call save in do catch block so I'm going to try so that if in a, any case there is an exception then it can handle it okay and we're going to call save function so here it is and now we're going to return true if the context is saved else we're going to return false so here it is now we will going to use this delete objects function in our view control class so here we're going to print uh, objects before delete before delete so and the similar way we will going to copy this or uh, yeah similar way going to copy this and paste it here okay we're going to fetch an object again no no we don't need to fetch it again okay so now we will going to no uh, yes we need to fetch it again because we're going to delete it so we're going to control z again go back now what we'll do we will going to call code data handler dot delete object and here we will going to pass user user object and we are going to pass an index which gives an user object so suppose we have a three object here then if you want to delete the second one then you need to pass it one here so it will going to pass that object in the delete object method and then so okay if the object is deleted successfully then we're going to enter 
this area or this block so we're going to paste it here so so here it is if the object is deleted successfully then it will again fetch that object pass it to user and then it will going to print it after delete so the first name last name here so so here it is now now we're going to run this let's see that how it works go and run this code we're going to place one breakpoint here so here it is it's loading okay so here you can see that we having a three object in our database and this is before deletion so if we call delete and then print it again let's see what happens if you can see that after deletion the, we have only two objects in our database so in this way you can uh, delete your object a specific object from the database now we are going to see uh, that how we can clean our whole core database so to do that we are going to create one function here class function and we are going to name it as clean clean uh, clean data or clean clear all clear all and then we're going to return bool value so then context then get context here now we're going to create a uh, one delete request here okay so delete request equals to we're going to use this class to create one delete request so here it is delete request and then we're going to pass one fetch request here okay it's not correct function yes here it is now we're going to pass objects current function so okay now the request is ready so now we're going to execute this request so that the the table is get cleared or the object get cleared from the database so now we're going to execute this do try context and then going to call its execute function and then we're going to pass delete request and if it succeeded in executing this request then we're going to return going to return true value here true here otherwise we're going to return false okay so here it is so what actually clear all will going to do it will going to delete all the objects in the user entity now we're going to see that how we can use this method to do that so to do that we're going to copy this and then we're going to paste it here again and instead of uh, delete object we're going to call clear all function here now we will going to see uh, clear clear all 
and then we're going to fetch it again and then we're going to return so here it is now we're going to execute this code and one more thing uh, what we'll do we will going to print its count here so that we able to know that the user object is there or not so you can you can print its count okay and so you can user dot count here now we're going to see what will happen if uh, clear all get executed so we're going to clear this log data from this now uh, the code is ex executed so we're going to execute the whole code and see so here it is we are having three objects here and then we deleted one object then it delete then it has uh, only two object after executing this clear all it deleted all the user object from the user entity and the user entity now has has only zero counts so in this way you can clear your entity and delete a specific object from the entity so thanks for watching this video in next video we'll going to see that how we can filter out our data so keep watching this video